Hello, in this video I'm going to introduce you to arithmetic series for A-level maths, okay? And we'll start off by saying what is the difference between an arithmetic sequence and an arithmetic series? Well, in a sequence we just have the list of numbers, okay? In our series, it's what happens when we sum or add those numbers together, okay? So here's quite a basic example and then we'll move on to a generic case. So say we have the arithmetic sequence, okay, or arithmetic progression, 1, 3, 5, 7. So it's increasing by 2 each time. That's our common difference. So in the series, okay, we could find the sum of, say, the first three terms. And I'm going to introduce you to some notation that you will use, okay, and we use a capital S like this with a subscript, which is just a small number next to it. So in the, like I said, the sum of the first three numbers, so S3, we use this here to indicate that we want the sum of the first three numbers in the sequence. So in this example, it would be 1 plus 3 plus 5. And so if we work that out, we would get it's equal to 9. Okay, But we can extend this to a generic sort of um, sequence, Okay, arithmetic progression. And if we do this, this will give us a formula that makes it a lot easier because say I wanted to find the sum of the first 250 numbers. That's obviously going to take a long time, but we can get a really nice formula or you know equation that will help do it for us. So say we have the uh, arithmetic progression A, a plus D, A plus 2D, and so on, okay? We could say that, well, say we wanted to find the sum of N terms, okay? The first N terms, so we're looking at a generic rule. We'd write it like this, S of N, okay? And that's gonna be equal to A plus the second term, which is A plus D, plus the third term, let me put brackets around this, uh, A plus 2D, and it would go on forever and ever until we get towards the nth term, okay? And that's called the uh, nth term, which is the last term, L, okay, we're calling the last term L. So the number that's before the last term is going to be L subtract the common difference, which is D, right? So that's going to be L minus D. And the term before that is going to be L minus 2D. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Oops, not plus, minus 2D. Like this. So this would tell me, okay, the sum of the first N numbers in a generic arithmetic progression. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip it around like so. I'll, I'll show you again. I'm going to rewrite it. So SN. And I'm going to write it like this. L plus L minus D plus L minus 2D. And, you know, plus, plus, plus. We've flipped it. So then we'll have A plus 2D plus A plus D plus A. Okay. So you can see I've flipped it around. Now from here, I'm just going to add these two things together. Okay. So we're adding them together. And if we do that, we're obviously now going to have two times Sn, okay, two times the sum of both of the series. And let's see what's going to happen. Well, firstly, we're going to get A plus L. That's pretty obvious. Let's write that in. We've got A plus L. I'll put brackets around it. Now, if we look at these two terms here, okay, you'll see that these Ds are going to cancel out with each other, and we're left with A plus L again. So let's write plus A plus L. Let's now look at the third term. Okay, so we've got this one here, and again, you'll see that these Ds cancel out, and we're left with A plus L. So let's write that in, A plus L. And we'll go on towards the end, and the same thing is going to happen here. So we've got L minus 2D plus A plus 2D. You can see the 2Ds now are going to cancel out, and we're left with L plus A, or you could write it as A plus L, which I'm going to do because it makes it look nicer, and so on. Okay, so we've got A plus L, and finally, A plus L. So now the question is, how many of these a's plus l's do we have? Well, remember the list was n uh, terms long because we went, went to the nth term. So there are going to be n a plus l's. So that's n terms long. So we could write this as 2 times the sum up to n is equal to n multiplied by a plus l, Okay, where a is the first term and l is the last term. And now to get the sum of every, all of it, just to get sn, we can divide both sides by 2. And we get that the sum up to the nth term of our arithmetic progression is n multiplied by the first term plus the last term divided by 2, okay? And this is a formula that we can use for the sum of the series. So that's quite useful, and I don't think it's too difficult to get to. So now what I'm going to do is bring this down here, and we'll have a look at an example question, okay? So we're told to find the sum of an arithmetic series with a first term a, so immediately I know a is equal to 3, and a last term of 111. So we've got the last term L is equal to 111. And we're given that the common difference is 4. So I could write that in if I wanted D is equal to 4. 
Now let's think, let's look over at our formula here in this red box, and you'll notice that I need to know a value of n. So how many terms are there that I need to sum up to in this sequence? Well, I haven't been given that information. So what we can do is we can use the formula for the nth term that I've made a video on. I'll link it in the description if you're not sure. But that says that the nth term, okay, that's going to be equal to a plus n minus 1 d, okay? And I want to know what value of n the last term is because that's where I want to sum up to. So if I set this equal to 111 and I substitute in the value of a and d that I know, so I've got a is equal to 3 plus n minus 1 times d, which is 4. Whoops, not 6, 4. I could now rearrange this. I don't know why I did an identity, not an equals. We could then rearrange this to find a value of n, and that would give me the nth term or the value of n that the 111th value is. So what is that term in my sequence? And that's what I want to sum up to. So if I rearrange this, I'll do 111, subtract 3, divided by 4, plus 1, and we get that n is equal to 28. Okay, so now I know the 111th term is when n is equal to 28. So we want to find the sum, so s of 28, and then substitute in what we know. So we've got 28 multiplied by the first term, which is 3, plus the last term, which is 111, divided by 2. And if I work that out on my calculator, we get 28 multiplied by uh, 114, and then we're going to divide that by 2, and we get a nice answer of 1,596 as the sum of the series up to the 28th term. Hopefully that made sense. I feel like I did a lot of talking then. Okay, so let's look at this last example. I'll bring the formula for the nth term down. And it says, for the arithmetic sequence, 4, 9, 14, 19, 24, so it's linear, uh, find the sum of the first 15 terms. Now there's a slight problem with our formula that we have at the minute, okay, and that's that we need to know the last term. And if we look there, we haven't been given the last term, and sure we could work it out, we could keep adding on 5 until we got to the 15th term, but sometimes it might not be so easy to do, okay. So we could just alter this formula ever so slightly, and all we have to do is, well, what is the last term going to be? Well, say we had it when it's s of n, we want to find the nth term. So that's going to be equal to n multiplied by the first term. And say we were going up to the nth term, well, we know the formula for the nth term, so the last term is just going to be equal to a plus n minus 1 d, like that. Because this here is the formula for the nth value, that is the formula for the nth term. And so whatever the last term is, when we set n equal to that, that will pop that out there, is our value of l, and then we're just dividing that all by 2. And if you rearrange it, you actually get a formula that you've probably seen before, or you will see, which is n divided by 2 multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1 times d, like that. And so now all I have to do to find the sum of the first 15 terms is use this new formula here for sn, which I'll put in another red box, so this one just here, and we can work it out. So we want to find what the question says, s of 15. And so that's when we have 15 divided by 2 multiplied by 2 times the first term, which is 4, plus n minus 1, well, n is 15, so 14 times the common difference, which is 5. And I'm just going to put all of that into my calculator, so 2 times 4 plus 14 times 5. And then we're multiplying that by 15 divided by 2, and we get an answer of 645. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, like, subscribe and share, and go over to my channel for tons more maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.